Tonight, during his second State of the Union address, President Joe Biden proclaimed, quote, the soul of this nation is strong. But unlike his first two years in office, Republicans now control the House of Representatives and congressional members on both sides made their voices heard during tonight's address. It's our top story tonight at 10. And for more on the president's speech, KCAU 9's Washington correspondent, Jesse Chenner, joins us live now from our nation's capital. Jesse? Yeah, good evening to you both. President Biden just wrapped up his speech that covered a wide variety of topics that he really hoped appealed not only to the factions of his own party, but to Republicans as well. Let's finish the job. President Joe Biden used his second State of the Union address to build on his administration's last two years of work. Made in America. I mean it. President Biden announced new standards to require all construction materials used in federal infrastructure projects to be made in the U.S. The supply chain for America begins in America. The president also called on Congress to reform law enforcement through increased training, accountability, and community policing, and to pass more gun laws. Banned assault weapons now. On immigration, President Biden wants more equipment and officers to secure the border and a pathway to citizenship for DACA recipients. American border problems won't be fixed until Congress acts. And as he advocated for unity, the president appeared to secure bipartisan support for safeguarding Medicaid and Social Security amid the debate to significantly cut government spending. Off the books now, right? They're not to be stopped. All right. But the GOP rebuttal to the president's address from Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders drew a stark line between Republicans and Democrats. Democrats want to rule us with more government control, but that's not who we are. 